so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. As we continue to increase our knowledge on the seat of the fallen, it is important to use discernment. Do not accept doctrines simply because it caters to your feeling and flesh. The flesh and emotions are an enemy. You must rise above the flesh to understand the world you live in. Operating in the flesh will blind your eyes to the things of the spirit. I urge all of you to operate in the spirit. That is the only way you would see the most high. The beast system wants to indoctrinate you with half truth to cause division between you and the most high. Remember, what is popular with the world is an enemy to the most high. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Popular doctrines do not bring forth the favor of the Most High. Popular doctrines are preached to gain popularity. Being popular in a world that is an enemy to the Most High does not benefit the Most High's kingdom and his people. Popular doctrines give the spirit of fear a stronghold on the lives of the people who can see truth but do not speak up because of fear. Popular doctrines are leading many people on the broad road to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Although the scripture said, broad is the road that leads to destruction, the people who are deceived by the kingdom of darkness ignore the scriptures and allow themselves to be controlled by the beast system. For the past several weeks, the Most High has been revealing who the seed of the fallen are in their character. This is the seventh part to this series. By now you should be able to identify the serpent seed as well as the descendants of the people the Bible speak of. The book of Genesis, Jubilees, and Enoch confirm the account of the watchers that sinned with the daughters of men. The watchers who sinned took an oath to not abandon their plans to take the daughters of men for wives to have children of their own. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred, who descend in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they call it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. The watchers were angels the Most High appointed to watch over the indigenous people created in the image of the Most High, also to carry out the Most High's will. Another name for the watchers in the scriptures is sons of God. Many people mistake the sons of God for black men, but they are angels, the Bible confirmed. Israelites, it is important to know not all the watchers sinned. The book of Enoch revealed a total of 200 watchers sinned. The leaders of the watchers who sinned was Samjaza. And Samjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. The watchers are the fathers to the race of giants, the Nephilim, that tormented the indigenous people. The watchers taught their children all kinds of things, technology, war, witchcraft, and other diabolical things that were taught to the children of the fallen by their fathers. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one, and they began to go in unto them and to defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms and enchantments and the cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant, and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand L's. 
Israelites, it is important to know the beginning. Many people may perceive the indigenous people learn how to make knives, guns, and advanced technology through gifts and talents, but the scriptures inform us that the fallen angels taught mankind these things. And Azazel taught man to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of autonomy and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. If men are using what they've learned from the seed of the fallen, this does not conclude they are the inventors. The seed of the fallen are responsible for the diabolical inventions destroying the earth. They use their children to manifest their will in the physical realm. For example, coronavirus is not a mysterious virus that started in Wuhan. The children of the fallen are experimenting with viruses as well as other demonic inventions to corrupt the earth. Who are the people pushing for virtual learning, genetically modified food? advanced technologies, as well as CERN. A certain group of people are the face to these things. There are conversations about combining humans with machines, the human 2.0. Who are the people pushing for these things? Do not forget about animal cloning and human cloning. AIs are taking over jobs. Some people are sleeping with robotic dolls. Who are the people manifesting the will of the kingdom of darkness? A person who served the Most High would not interfere with what the Most High made perfect. Once you cross the line of crossbreeding animals and trying to control the weather by using the government harp system, the children of the fallen are setting the stage to make Satan be like the Most High. The seed of the fallen want us to believe the world is overpopulated. How do they know the maximum capacity the world could hold? Did they lay the foundation of the earth with the Most High? Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare, if thou hast understanding. There is one species of mankind living today that have the characteristics and appearance of the seed of the fallen. They are behind everything we read about in the scriptures concerning the seed of the fallen. They are the leaders pushing for the diabolical inventions, destroying the earth. We are living in the information age. If you're blind, you choose to be. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. A computer nerd who is not a doctor is pushing to have everyone vaccinated. Since when did they care so much about the indigenous people that they want to save them? Every other day there is police killing of a black person, yet they want to save the indigenous people from coronavirus? The computer nerd is a member of the Caucasoid species. Who were the people they wanted to use as their lab rats to test their vaccines? The indigenous people are always their first choice. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be cast into the fire and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted and proclaim the healing of the earth that they may heal the plague and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. Bestiality is something that is kept secret in the beast system. Bestiality is more common than one could imagine. The beast system strategically pushed bestiality under a fetish. The scripture said anyone who approach an animal to lay with it, both the person and the animal should be stoned to death. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If the Most High has laws against bestiality, then that is something that is practiced. The amount of abuse the animals suffer from the seed of the falling is alarming. The crossbreeding of animals to create hybrids, using animals as lab rats, keeping the animals trapped in zoos. In addition, mixing animal DNA with humans to create an abomination. Having an animal for a pet is a popular practice in the seed of the fallen's culture. The indigenous people adopted the pet culture. The indigenous people kept animals for livestock, not for pets. Wealth was based on how much livestock a person had, as well as gold and silver. 
majority of our forefathers' wealth came from livestock. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. The beast system count your pets like children. Remember, the American dream is a house with white picket fence and 2.5 children. The point five was the pet. The seed of the fallen see the animals as family. If you carry animal DNA, then the animals would be family, correct? The scriptures reveal the watchers did not only sin with the daughters of men. The seed of the fallen sin against the animals as well. And they begin to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. We often read in the scriptures of creatures that were part human and part beasts. The creatures had human faces and the rest of their bodies are animal-like. The children of the fallen also have animal DNA. That is why in their culture, they cherish their pets. Have you ever wondered to why many people consume animal milk? We are not the offspring of animals, yet we drink cow and other animal milk. Cows do not drink human milk. A human child is weaned from their mother's milk at an early age. Why must you continue to drink milk? It has been proven that animal milk and dairy has no nutritional value for humans. Israelites, what worked for the Caucasoy species does not work for us. We are of two different species. Eating and living by the standards of the beast system is causing the diseases of Egypt to plague the indigenous people. And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. The indigenous people suffer from many diseases. The common denominators opening the door for diseases in the indigenous people are from food and sorcery. In the spirit realm, when a worker of iniquity wants to infect your body, they feed you in your dreams. Israelites, it is important to follow the Most High's dietary laws. Consuming unclean animals and genetically modified food will cause the spirit of infirmity to lash onto you until it kills you. Be careful with the food you eat, especially the meat you consume. Unclean spirits can infiltrate animals as well. The scriptures confirm when the unclean spirit legion asked Yahshua to enter the herd of swine. Now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. Put down pork in every single food the scriptures say is unclean. You do not want to consume genetically modified food. Engineer meat like the computer nerd recommend for the future has no benefit for your health. By the way, you already eating engineer meat. The Most High infused the earth with natural food and medicine to sustain his people. The hybrids do not need natural medicine. They can eat whatever they want. Drinking animal milk, eating genetically modified food, and implanting foreign objects into their bodies is normal for them, not for the indigenous people. That is why the Most High say, learn not the ways of the heathens. Do not be partakers with them. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The book of Jasher give an account on how Zepho, the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau, became the ruler over the children of Chittim for a period. Before Zepho became king to reign over the children of Chittim, the king of Africa, not Europe, but Africa where Zepho dwelt, the people of the Most High must know the geographical location to where the story is taking place. If the story is taking place in an area that has no Nehendothal DNA in the indigenous population until this day, this could help the people of the Most High understand Esau and his descendants are black. King of Angeas made Zepho captain of his army when he escaped from Egypt. 
And Zepho found favor in the sight of Angeas and in the sight of his people. And Zepho was captain of the host to Angeas, king of Africa, for many days. Zepho fled from King Angeas when he could not persuade him to fight against the Israelites. The entire descendants of Esau did not follow Zepho to Chittim. It was only Zepho that fled to Chittim. The other descendants of Esau stayed in the land of Seir. The people of Chittim received Zepho with love, for they know he was a man of war. The children of Chittim hired Zepho to fight their battles. And all the people of Chittim received him with great honor, and they hired him to fight their battles all the days. And Zepho became exceedingly rich in those days, and the troops of the king of Africa still spread themselves in those days. And the children of Chittim assembled and went to Makkaptazia on account of the troops of Angeas, king of Africa, who were advancing upon them. Later, Zepho reigned over the people of Chittim. Thought-provoking messages like this are being revealed to help you think outside the box. In addition, encourage you to seek the Most High for yourself to gain wisdom. Do not follow popular doctrines concerning Esau and his descendants. Read for yourself under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The scripture said Zepho lost one of his heifer. He went looking for his property. Zepho came across a cage at the bottom of the mountain with a huge stone barricading the entrance. When he opened the cage, he found a large animal creature. The scriptures describe the creature as his top half had an appearance of a man and his bottom half had an appearance of an animal. And it was one day that Zepho lost a young heifer and he went to seek it and he heard it lowing round about the mountain. And Zepho went and he saw and behold, there was a large cave at the bottom of the mountain and there was a gray stone there at the entrance of the cave. And Zepho split the stone, and he came into the cave, and he looked, and behold, a large animal was devouring the ox. From the middle upward it resembled a man, and from the middle downward it resembled an animal. And Zepho rose up against the animal and slew it with his swords. The book of Enoch said, The seed of the fallen sinned against the animals. The scriptures revealed the origin and truth about the seed of the fallen. The kingdom of darkness spread half-truth in the beast system to confuse the people. Depending on where you obtain knowledge in the beast system about the seed of the fallen, the workers of iniquity classify the Neanderthals under the animal species, while some publications and research groups classify the Neanderthals as humans. By spreading false information with little truth would cause division. The reason the workers of iniquity spread confusion to hide the truth. The longer they can keep you going in circles, the longer they can hide among us. The scripture said the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Confusion comes from the kingdom of darkness. Satan sent the spirit of confusion to cause debate, division, and strife. Israelites, when you are confused, rebuke the spirit of confusion. Allow the Most High to renew your mind. The Neanderthals have animal DNA, the scriptures confirm. Bestiality is practiced just like pedophilia. Both acts are disgraceful and sick. Both acts stems from the imagination of the kingdom of darkness to defile the indigenous people. There are no boundaries in the beast system. Israelites, it is important to know what you allow to enter your bloodline. Esau's seed did not become spoiled because he was a man of war. Esau's seed is spoiled because his descendants intermingled their bloodline with many different bloodlines. Esau raged war with the Israelites. In addition, the Most High decided he would spoil Esau's bloodline. You are what your father is doctrine is a diabolical doctrine that is causing many indigenous people to spoil their seed. They are allowing the demons in the flesh to infiltrate their bloodline. Remember, recessive genes can only give birth to recessive genes. I will use Drake and Meghan Markle as an example. Both Drake and Meghan are biracial. Drake has a black father and a white mother. Meghan Markle has a black mother and a white father. The children born to Drake and Meghan Markle had the same outcome, whited out. Are you really what your father is? 
Can an indigenous person procreate with Caucasians only and remain indigenous? Biracial Drake has a black father and Drake has a child with a white woman. Drake's son is a white boy with blonde hair and blue eyes. Recessive genes can only give birth to recessive genes. How come Drake did not produce a dark-skinned, woolly-haired child with the white woman? If you are what your father is, Stan, then no indigenous person can complain about white people. Every white person can claim blackness. By the third and fourth generation, your children are white when you reproduce with Caucasians only. Can you differentiate between Megan and Drake's sons from a child that was born to a Caucasian couple? Megan Markle has a white father. She married a white man and her son is white. Do you believe Drake and Megan Markle's sons will have a dark skinned, woolly haired child if they marry white? If they have no melanin, how can they produce children with melanin? Only an indigenous black woman can produce a child with melanin and with no melanin. The workers of iniquity are aware of this. That is why they devalue the original woman in the beast system. No matter what the kingdom of darkness does, they need the original people to maintain their population. The beast system wants the indigenous people to accept Megan and Drake children as black. That way they can continue to steal the identity of the indigenous people all over the world. Because many indigenous people suffer from self-hate, they would be proud to say Archie and Adonis are black boys. Last I checked, black indigenous children are melanated. The result of an indigenous person procreating with the seed of the fallen will produce a full hybrid Caucasian children by the third and fourth generation, regardless if the father is black. By the fourth generation, there is no indigenous blood in their bloodline. The result, whited out. Your bloodline is cut off. Drake's son and Meghan Markle's son are white. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. The Most High said no bastard shall enter his congregation. The Most High said no to Lot descendants because of the abomination that took place between Lot and his daughters. Also, the Moabites and the Ammonites hired Balaam to curse the Israelites. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever because they met you not with bread and with water in the way when ye came forth out of Egypt, and because they hired against thee Balaam the son of Beor of Pethor of Mesopotamia to curse thee. Today we have Israelites running around with creatures with animal DNA and they believe they are producing Israelite children. The Most High made it clear that he did not want his people, the Israelites, to mix their seed. The Most High is aware of the abomination that comes from the toxic DNA of the seed of the fallen. The Most High does not want the spoiled DNA in the holy bloodline. That is why the Most High said not to give your sons and daughters for marriages with them. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. The Most High command his people not to marry the strange woman and men. Yah did not command the heathens. Therefore, there are a lot of recessive genes in the heathens' bloodline. Isaac did not want his sons to marry the Canaanite women, and they were indigenous black people. Somehow in this generation, Israelites believe they can take a demon in the flesh and create pure holy children. Make it make sense. Drake had a black father. He followed his father and had a child with a strange woman. His son is a white boy, not indigenous. Israelites, the Most High has been making the mystery known. Yah said in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, ask the Most High to renew your minds. Allow the Most High to reveal truth about the other species of people you dwell among. The beast system is not going to tell you the truth. Do not allow the people that hate you tell you your history. 
The time has come for you to seek wisdom and understanding of all sorts. Ask the Most High and he shall grant you the desires of your heart. Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord.